Hi, I'm Bill Richardson, Deputy Executive Director of Greenpeace U.S. Forty years ago, a group of activists sailed a rusty fishing boat into the heart of a nuclear test zone, seeking to peacefully prevent the destruction of Amchitka, a pristine island ecosystem off the coast of Alaska. Although they failed to stop that test, their action generated a wave of public support that ultimately shut down the U.S. nuclear testing program in that area, won Amchitka designation as a wildlife sanctuary, and gave birth to Greenpeace. We've grown a lot since that first voyage, but we've stayed true to that same vision, inspiring millions of people to work toward a healthy and sustainable planet. With millions of members, offices in over 40 countries, and our fleet of ships that provide unique research and campaigning opportunities, we leverage our signature global reach to win big victories for the planet, like winning a ban on commercial whaling, protecting Antarctica as a world park, and ending the dumping of radioactive waste at sea. Greenpeace is independent, accepting no money from corporations or governments, so we're free to take on the worst corporate polluters and aggressively work towards what science says we must accomplish to effectively protect the environment. Today, we continue to face urgent global environmental challenges, like the destruction of the last great rainforests, the plundering of our oceans, and the coal industry's assault on our air, water, and global climate. We need action for groundbreaking change, and that's what Greenpeace is all about. Greenpeace uses the power of people, exhaustive research, and the latest creative communication tools to achieve meaningful victories for the environment. For instance, we've drawn widespread international attention to large multinational companies whose procurement practices were fueling Indonesian rainforest destruction, endangering rare orangutans and Sumatran tigers, and driving global warming. Based on the work of local investigative teams who went to Indonesia to verify deforestation in protected areas and track the path of the wood being extracted, Greenpeace researchers were able to highlight the companies and products involved. This in turn led to large global campaigns that mobilized their customers to apply pressure for them to change their practices. Tens of thousands of activists made phone calls, sent emails, and posted to Facebook and Twitter clearly stating to these companies that rainforest destruction is bad for business. And they listened. Over the past year, we've convinced numerous companies to agree to get rainforest destruction out of their supply chain. We're working to reform entire industries to bring about the kind of transformational change we need to effectively confront the enormous environmental challenges we face. I hope you'll join us. Greenpeace needs your support to protect our forests and oceans, empower a new generation of community activists to challenge the coal industry, and continue taking action for a healthy and sustainable future. Thank you.